Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. I'm getting better and it's a fine day. We have a lot to be thankful for and I hope you feel blessed. I hope you sense God's blessings today. Even in the most difficult times, we can see God's blessings. Let's talk about that on Something Deeper. Today, I got news from a family that is really struggling. Their wife and mother had passed away from cancer after a long battle with cancer. And it's times like that that you think, well, this is where I really need to have faith in God because who else has the answers for the big questions of life, like life and death? Only God does. And so it's good for us to have our faith in Him. Sometimes, you know, people get angry at God when there's a tragedy like that in their life. But your faith really needs to stand up to those times because that's when you need it most. And this family, they have great faith in God and they're trusting in Him. And they know where their wife and mother is. They know all the promises of God and they have put their faith in Him. And I shared a couple of verses. I I shared the verse about God being close to the brokenhearted. And I prayed that God would be close to them and bring them comfort and peace. But I also shared this passage that was a major passage for me when Jill's mother passed away. Psalm 116, 15. The psalmist says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Sometimes we treat heaven as a consolation prize. Well, if you can't live on this earth any longer, at least you have heaven. You know, like, it, like it's second best. When in reality, the worst day in heaven is better than the best day on this earth. I really believe that. There's no more death or mourning or crying or pain. We should know that whoever goes to be with the Lord got the better deal as opposed to those who are left behind. Death is a tragedy. I mean, we're going to miss our loved ones who pass away. There's sadness there that can't be denied. But we don't grieve like those who have no hope. It's a whole different thing to say, I'll see you later, compared to goodbye forever. We never say goodbye forever for our brothers and sisters in Christ. We just say, I'll see you later. And as we deal with the tragedy of missing somebody that we love deeply, We have to recognize that God sees the other side, and it's not tragic. He sees the day that he is bringing his daughter home to her forever home. He's showing her heaven for the first time. He's saying, this is the place I prepared for you, and I prepared you for this place. And it's a place of perfect contentment and satisfaction. All the joys that we've had on this earth that have been just temporary, that have faded away, they're going to be fulfilled in heaven in a way we probably can't even imagine. So that day is precious to God. The day you die is the day God has been looking forward to since he first thought of you before time ever began. The day that he would bring you into his home and say, come enjoy your master's happiness. That's what we put our hope in. Let's pray. I thank you, Father, for your promises that give us solace in these difficult times of grief. Thank you, Father, that we can trust in you. Not only are your answers beautiful, but they're true. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. I love you, and I hope you have a great rest of the week.